Hello everyone, welcome to Satellab Geo Solutions. My name is Navid Ali, the Regional Manager for the Middle East and Australia. Today we are hosting this webinar from the UAE, a mild 24 degrees, so we are in the middle of winter, so I hope wherever you are, you are keeping it nice and warm. Today I have the honor of introducing a new LiDAR family member of Satellab Geo Solutions to you all. Throughout this webinar, if you have any questions or uh, ideas that you'd like to share with us, please uh, provide them in the comments below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, here we go. For those who know me very well, UAVs and LiDAR hold a very uh, important place in my life where we have been constantly looking for the merger of the UAV and the LiDAR for a seamless solution. During this webinar, we will be doing swift comparisons with other competitors, not to mention DJI especially, and uh, the unit's functionality. We had the pleasure of introducing the APAS at the Intergeo last year in Berlin in October and it was welcomed very well and warmly with its uh, peers and uh, end users. Beyond its LiDAR head, a feature that I will be talking about a lot is the 26 megapixel camera that is inbuilt. It has a very seamless integration with the point cloud and the camera produces flawless colorized point cloud data. This integration enhances the analytical capabilities providing a comprehensive and visual rich data set for further in-depth analysis. As times move on, project sizes are now getting larger, data sets are even getting larger than way before. So, you know, we require high spec uh, systems to process, uh, to transfer, etc., etc. We have kept such things in mind and would like to share that the APIS has a data transfer rate of 300 megabits per second, which equates to about two minutes for a standard project size of uh, data capture or one flight, which is pretty much enough time for you to go grab a quick coffee and come back. Okay, so let's get down to business. The APIS is one of the lightest in its class and the most user friendliest as we know it. We, could, we say rotate, plug and play. Keeping in mind the DJI M series and market demands, we have integrated the same connector head to ensure a seamless workflow from hardware to software. As an integrator, integration abilities in SatLab differentiate us from other brands by far. Our LiDAR units go through double calibration of LiDAR heads and IMU. We here at SatLab not just consider efficiency and simplicity in the hardware, we also carry it on to the software, which is perfect for all users, whether you are an experienced user or you are starting new into the industry. We call it Sat LiDAR. So Sat LiDAR, our cutting edge software solution, which streamlines the entire workflow, seamlessly progressing from data capture to point cloud generation to feature extraction and comprehensive data analysis. With its user-friendly interface, Satellite offers simplicity without compromising functionality, allowing you to allocate more time to intricate tasks with ease. 
incorporating insights from market research and user feedback, we've enhanced our software by introducing shortcuts and one-click functions. These streamlined features assist users to do tasks with much ease, say for example, data processing, report generation, volumetric calculations, and data cleaning, simplifying complex operations for a more efficient workflow. Okay, now let's talk about data quality. The APIS, with its triple echo readings, which are at approximately 1.9 million points per second, guarantees the creation of a meticulously dense and accurate point cloud data set. This level of precision lays a robust foundation for an in-depth data analysis and an informed decision making for specific projects ahead. Our guiding principle has always been, do it once, do it right. Here we can see in the table a quick comparison of SAT LiDAR and the IE trajectory solving results within one centimeter RMSE. Pretty impressive to me. What do you think? As evident on the screen, achieving an absolute accuracy of about five centimeters at the specific heights is a remarkable feat. This level of precision is ideal for data collection in demanding environments such as steep, rugged and mountainous terrains. When using SAT LiDAR, the software also allows you to adjust, edit and cut trajectory files to eliminate any corrupted data that may no longer be required. SAT LiDAR also allows the user to conduct and then compare multiple periods of volumetric results, so you can continuously monitor the changes with historic data captured previously. As you can see from the slide, there are many functionalities within SAT LiDAR for data to be displayed in various ways. Okay, so now let's get into the applications of the APIS. Ahead we have a few examples of where the APIS has been applied to the field. When conducting aerial capture for topographic mapping, for example, you could keep the APIS capture with an ease in one flight at 28 minutes with an area capturing of about 1.2 square kilometers, keeping the speed of approximately eight meters per second, which is a, a massive improvement to previous times. As we can see from the slide, just a quick another example of how the APIS has managed to collect a dense point cloud from a very, very dense forest environment. As we can see now, quantities are a thing of the past. Fast capture and efficient data analysis via SAT LiDAR gives us complete quantities with just a few clicks. As you can see on the slide, the scenarios where the APIS can be deployed, just to mention topographic mapping, the mining sector, engineering, hydrological surveys, emergency mapping, and obviously forest mapping where the triple echo works its best. Just to add to the examples already shown here, a few more samples of uh, data sets that we collected in the field not too long ago. Okay, now this is an exciting slide, not to mention any names, but as we compare data sets between the APIS and its nearest competitor, the elevation model for both looks almost identical. However, going into further analysis of the point cloud, it is evident that the APIS triple echo is penetrating dense areas with solid returns. As shown from the elevation map image, we captured an area with a high dense vegetation. As shown in the image of the right of it, with the support of the triple echoes, penetrating of the LiDAR and amount of points collected looks more than sufficient for extraction purposes. Okay, got that one out of the way. Now let's do a quick wrap up. One stop processing, ultra fast data transmission, get started and fly, which means plug and play, and a real dense data point clouds. Okay, looking at the table, here are some other key features we can also share with you. Say, for example, the 1.9 million points per second, which I have mentioned many times before, the 26 megapixel camera. And do keep in mind that we have integrated the DJI Skyport mounting interface. So it's DJI compliant for all you DJI lovers with a one terabyte storage capacity. I will personally be visiting locations around the world, hopefully near you within the next few coming months as a road show, which will provide a more hands-on experience with all our end users and dealers for our LiDAR products. So please stay tuned for the announcements of dates 
and events through our, mo sorry, through our social media pages and marketing emails. From all of us here at SatLab Geosolutions, we thank you very much for attending this webinar. My name is Narvid Ali and we look forward to seeing you out in the field and uh, please do visit our website for more information regarding the APUS and our other LiDAR products. Thank you for attending and goodbye.